These were the scenes witnessed in the outskirts of the University of Nairobi last week. University students protesting over the re-election of Babu Owino as the Sonu chairperson. <laughs> Protests that resulted to the indefinite closure of the institution of higher learning. But amidst all the chaos, police on Saturday raided the university hostels and recovered, among other contraband, 25 kilograms of bang, a police sweater, and blood-stained knives. And now the Interior Ministry says those found culpable will have to face the full force of the law. When, when things are happening and investigations are going on and work is going on, it is also not fair to start making sideline comments uh, about the whole issue. Uh, we are all here. Uh, when the right time comes for we us to comment talk. about it, yep. we will tell you. We do not want to, uh, you know, uh, make pre comments that may end up being prejudicial. Absolutely. Investigation yeah. is still ongoing, so yeah. you don't want to preempt. Yeah. The raid was carried in the institution following revelations by Nakada Chair John Mutudo, who insists that the University of Nairobi is a drug den which should be investigated by international investigating agencies. Is it a normal practice? that a student at the University of Nairobi would be seen in the internet calling such a huge amount of money in terms of dollar and one hundred dollar bills. My retro understanding, and it's not so retro, when you have the dollar bill, when you have the euro, there are also other interested parties, the owners of the currency. So all those agencies, including the CIA, FBI, must now come in and track those dollar bills, FBI particularly, and CIA are good in tracking the dollars so that we all feel safe. A menace the government wants to address once and for all. Meanwhile, the government is in consultation over the students' unrest last week in a bid to find a lasting solution to the same. Education CS Fred Matiangi, who accompanied Nkaiseri in the university, said he will engage stakeholders with the aim of ensuring the university reopens. Unless universities are left to run according to the Universities Act, we will be very sorry and we'll regret later on if we try to interfere with the management of universities. That is why Parliament has ba uh, passed the laws that are very clear about how universities should be managed. And we all are and should be bound by those laws. The university has a chancellor, a governing council in place, a vice chancellor. And there is nothing wrong. Quite frankly, the, the, the University of Nairobi is, is doing so well. We are happy and we are satisfied with the leadership of the university. And we do not have a reason why we should actually interfere. And that's why you can see we were respectful enough ourselves. We came to consult with the leaders of the university. You know, so we are respecting the institution of the University of Nairobi. And I would urge all of us to do the same. Everything must be done methodically and must be done in order. Otherwise, if we don't do that, we will not preserve our institutions. This even as the University Senate is said to start hearing the election petitions on Tuesday. The gates of the University of Nairobi remains shut for students, even as senior government officials pay a courtesy call to the VC. And now Education CS Dr. Fred Matiangi says the government will leave no stone unturned in its quest to ensure sanity is retained in this institution of higher learning. Reporting for KBC Channel 1, I'm Ron Cliff, Audit.